10 Expensive Harley-Davidson Motorcycles Number 10. Often, even auction veterans are surprised by how much a classic bike can go for. In 2014, this 1912 8A twin was expected to be in the 100k range, but instead sold for an impressive $236,500. It's easy to see why some might be interested as it was one of the first twin-cylinder bikes with a belt drive and idler wheel. Unlike the earlier models, this was sold to customers, but only a few copies exist with this restored version going for an excellent price. Number 9. The 5D was Harley's first twin valve bike but suffered a few design flaws. The 7D was crafted in 1911 with just over two dozen made, mostly for promotion purposes. The frame was notable for its downward curves and the first mechanically operated intake valves. In fact, no models were ever sold publicly with only four complete versions known to exist. One sold in 2014 for a new record price to show how some early Harleys can be more expensive than modern beasts. Number 8. Operated Intake Valves This may seem a pretty steep price for an FXD Dyna Super Glide. Sure, it's a great touring bike with a top performance thanks to the 1855 cubic centimeters engine and a high speed of 118 miles per hour. But the reason this bike is so expensive is operated intake valves. Its owner, as part of its 110th anniversary, Harley bequeathed this gold-plated super glide to Pope Francis himself. The ever humble Pope thanked them for the gift, autographed both the bike, operated intake valves, its owner, and a jacket and sold them for charity. A collector would enjoy a literally holy Harley. Number 7. The 1959 Harley-Davidson FLH would already be an excellent bike for auction. It's known for its terrific power thanks to the 74 CI motor and its great additions. But what makes this bike so expensive is who owned it. It was bequeathed to Legendary, and Harley buffed Jerry Lee Lewis as a promotional gift. This started a friendly rivalry between Lewis and Elvis Presley, who thought the bike should have been his. It was sold in 2015 for a whopping $358,000. Number 6. There are a few replicas around, but an original 1909 Model 5D twin is a rare beast. The company's first twin engine bike may seem weak by today's standards, but it was amazing in its time. The 1909 version is more limited due to issues with the belt braking that required it to be removed and remodeled for 1911. One of the only 27 models made is in a museum in Milwaukee, and its cost could be hefty if ever sold. Number 5. One of the early Harley bikes, the strap tank was one of just 150 motorcycles the company built in 1907. The rarity alone makes it a collector's item with the strap tank still possessing a good performance. It belonged to the same family for nearly 80 years before sold to collector E.J. Cole and displayed at the Sturgis Museum. It sold for a fantastic price in 2015 for a piece of Harley history. Number 4. There are a few variations of the 8-valve racer found over the years. One notable model was discovered lost for 30 years in the Australian Outback. Another was a 1916 version that pulled off a win at the grueling Dodge City race. Lean and mean, the 8-valve had no major additions and as stripped down as possible. That meant some terrific speeds for its time as the 998 cubic centimeters V-twin pushed it up. A pristine model has been known to go for a million to make this a fantastic ride. Number 3. Yes, this is the Easy Rider bike from the classic movie. It's also known as the Captain America for the shield at the front and was the model used by Peter Fonda. Its history is unique as it's believed to use a 1952 HD Hydroglide with 1960. Panheads installed. It's also been claimed the true original was either stolen or destroyed, and this is a replica. But it still works as an amazing ride that fetched a high price at auction as many wanted a piece of motorcycle history. Number 2. Panheads installed. One has to admire the audacity to make what was already the most expensive Harley around even pricier. Swiss watchmaker Bukura worked with Bunner Bike to produce this stunning work. Panheads installed. The title is evident from the solid blue materials and paint job to the gold plated throttle valves and welded by hand. The head-resistant LED lamps are a modern touch with a 5.4 carat diamond glass dome. Number 1. Its cost has shifted a bit. At one point, the owner wanted a whopping $15 million, but the cosmic starship remains a unique Harley. Artist Jack Armstrong, nephew of astronaut Neil, coated a 2002 Virad into a magnificent work of art with its beautiful paint job and mix of materials with 37 coats of paint to stand out. Once going for 3 million, the Starship may be a bit tricky to ride but sure stands out as art. Thanks for watching please subscribe our YouTube channel for new updates. It will give me motivation and write your feedback in the comments section.